Okay, we're on our way. It's cold outside. It's really cold and it's really windy. We're hoping that's gonna die down. But we're excited either way. Banana. <laughs> Game on, baby.
just left the Mickey parking lot to go up that beautiful big hill behind me. It's gonna be a doozy. His hip is hurting and his ankle is hurting. And I can't talk because my face is completely numb. But it's going good so far. So Chase is actually like 46 minutes ahead of where he was at this point in the race last year when he ran it. Um, and I know that because I have a little cheat sheet here. I like all the times that he's supposed to get to all the aid stations, like from according, based on last year's time. Um, so he is ahead, which is great because he wants to be his time for last time. The wind is so bad, my eyes are watering. But this is my nifty little setup. Just watch Chase all the way up in there. That hill is so epic, you guys. I can barely, I can barely see little dots of people climbing up that hill. down single track back to make the BA station hey guys 30 mile check in about to be making it back to the make BA station things are rough my ankle and shin are killing started the race with the injury got this injury last year at this specific race I just hope I can push through to the end 30 down 70 to go Woo up on that 50 mile mark baby Boys, did you see her yet? Yeah! Now we just 
gotta find the wifey. Thing and everything. Oh, we, we got the first one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mile well, 50 check in. Rolled in at 11:48. Heading out 12:02. Did a quick swap, sock, swap out. Boy, we're feeling it, but we're headed back out. I'm going for 12 hours. It's still daylight. Last year, it was dark by the time I was going up the far side of Badger first time. So, definitely ahead of last year. Just hope my legs can hold up. And I should probably eat and drink more than I am. Not good. Oh well. We'll do what we can. Okay, bye. Okay. It is 11 o'clock. I met Chase at the 60 mile aid station. I'm waiting for him at the, whatever the next one is. I don't know how many miles it is, but it's the one right before the Great Big Hill again. So we are on round two of the Great Big Hill. It's hurting. I hate to see him like that, but he's got, he's still got the drive and the determination to finish it. So that is still the plan as of now. Um, but yeah, I think after I see him this next time, he should be here within the next, I would say, two hours. Then he goes up, and he's going to be gone for a while, so I'm going to take a nap, I think, if I can. I don't know, I kind of have this bright-ass light right there at the aid station, so I'll just cover my eyes with something. All right, guys. My apologies. I never turned it on at night. Ran all the way through the night without doing any recording. Sorry. Shins still feel like they're going to explode. Definitely no fun in that regard. They're 87, almost 88 miles deep. 25 hours and 30 some minutes. Don't think I'll get the 28, but way better than last year. I'm waiting for him at mile 90 out of 100, you guys. It's the home stretch. The end is in sight. He just needs to get through the vineyards without getting lost while he's half asleep. Make it over Candy Mountain. Make it over... What's that mountain called? The other mountain. And then he's done.
Alright. Top of Badger. Fourth and final time. It's like two miles to the finish. Let's get this done. Unfortunately, I didn't go sub 29. Kind of missed by his help me. Oh well. Heck of a day. Heck of a heck of a heck of a day.